Welcome, this is the RPA Champion and in today's video we are going to be looking at the decision stage. The decision stage is going to help you guide your process in the direction that you want it to go. Decision stages are uh, if statements are conditions that you want your process to go through so that it can fulfill a certain condition. Now let's see more in detail how decisions work. So what I have already done, I've opened a previously created process. And to use the decision, the decision is also present both in the process and in the object. We just drag and drop it and we double click on it. So the decision uh, is structured much like a calculation stage. So I have already created three variables to save us some time and we are going to create a simple if condition. We are going to check if one variable is greater than another variable. If the condition is met, our process is going to do a certain action. Otherwise, it's going to do a different action. Now let's get into it. So to uh, you can write your own expression if you want to, or you can already use some of the uh, logical expressions that already exist here. So, for example, let's use the greater than. If this data item 1 is greater than data item 2, let's generate this uh, function and let's validate it. The Perfect. The expression is valid. Now, let's go and test our process and see what happens. So now we should have uh, we should have our process do two things. So in one case, if it's greater than, let's have it let's have it add add ten and save in itself. In the other case, we will subtract 10 from the answer. So you can, as you have noticed, you can also drag and drop the variables directly into the expression pane. Minus 10. Let's validate this expression. Perfect. It's valid. And now let's connect our links. So now that we have connected the links to the steps of our process, let's review it one more time. So decision one is number one greater than number two. If that is the case, it will go this way and it will add 10. Otherwise, it will go in this direction and it will subtract 10. Now, just to give you a, a, a sneak peek at the data variables, data one is three and data two is five. Why for data three we don't have anything. Data three is going to be is going to be uh, it's not going to work like this. We're going to have to initialize it with a zero. Perfect. All right, like this everything should work. Let's save our process and let's just refresh it and run it. So apparently 3 is not greater than 5, therefore we have deducted 10 from 0, so it's minus 10. Now let's invert this, so let's write something larger than 5 here. And let's refresh our process. And let's run it again, and we can see that this time the... Uh, the process has taken the yes path since 54 is obviously greater than 5. Now, just to review one more time, please take a look. There is different uh, conditions that you can that you can write. Uh, there is also an explanation of the different condition. You can also validate them, validate the variable that you write directly in here as well. Uh, therefore, there is 
quite a lot of functionality to make it easier for you to code directly inside of Blue Prism, even if it's not just drag and drop activities. Awesome. So I hope you have learned how to use decisions and uh, gotten a general idea of decision. In the next video, we are going to be looking at choices. I really hope you like this video. I'm hoping to see you in the next one. Give me a thumbs up if you like my content and let me know in the comments below what you think about my videos and also what other things you would like to see. Would you like to see other RPA technologies, tools and so on. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.